What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Halls episode number 53. So ladies and gentlemen, on this episode of My Damn Halls, we do have this ginormous effing box right here from Giovanni Luongo. Hope I didn't butcher his name there. But this is a massive box full of fan mail, guys. He hit me up in my email and he said, I want to send you some stuff. You know, I'm thinking, you know, a little envelope size like this. I'm like, yeah, bro, that sounds great. I always love the fan mail packages. And then yesterday on my doorstep, I get this massive 40-pound weight just at my door. Like, I I can barely, like, guys, it's it's very heavy. I, th I think shipping was like 30-something dollars, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is absolutely insane. I cannot wait to crack this open. We also have a package here from my boy BEW, Brian and Guyan, as I like to call him. It's Brian Wynn, but you know you know what I'm saying. We got Brian right here. BEW did send us some good fan mail right here. Got, not fan mail. What are you, stupid idiot? Come on, Brad. Get it! Oh! Oh! But we do have a couple figures in here from my boy BEW that we're going to open first. And then we'll get into the ginormous box of fan mail that I'm so freaking excited for, guys. So let's go ahead and hit the first package. Alright, guys. So package number one, again, does come from my boy BEW. I'm very excited for this package. This package is going to go into some customs that I'm going to be working on. And um, should I save the trusty knife for the big box? Or do we always start on the first package with the trusty knife? I think that the only way to do it is with the good old trusty knife. Hopefully I didn't stab any figures, guys, but we'll just slice it down the middle there and we'll split this open. And I think I did miss the figures, probably, hopefully. I mean, Jesus. But here we go. That's it. That's it for the envelope. But here we go. We got two figures here. The first figure is this Dolph Ziggler right here, guys. It is a basic Dolph Ziggler. Cannot remember which series, but uh, I went ahead and grabbed this. I love the arms on this thing. It's a good head scan, too, that I could use later on down the road. But uh, BEW was selling this basic Dolph Ziggler, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And while I was at it, I went ahead and grabbed his Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler. And, yeah, this is going to be part of a custom Ziggler soon, I'm sure. Um, you know you know how I am, always uh, getting the custom Zigglers done, always buying and part switching and making fantasy attire Dolph Zigglers and stuff. So this is probably what this will be. So we got the Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler, great boots on this guy. I love the black boots on here. I wish they'd actually sculpt the flaps instead of being lazy and just painting it, but you know what, it works. Uh, totally jacked arms on there, but again, we'll be switching that or something. But uh, huge shout out to BW. Thank you so much, bro, for these amazing Dolph Ziggler figures. Cannot wait to uh, turn these into customs and ish like that. So now that we've done these Zigglers, guys, let's get in to this big AF box, this mountain of a box right here. Look at the comparison. This is a Dolph Ziggler Elite figure. And this is the box up next to it. I mean, my God, this thing is ginormous. Guys, let's go ahead and crack it open. So before we get into the box, guys, I want to go ahead and shout him out here because he did write some things on the top of the box here. Um, it says, My Damn Toys MDT. He says, Top, open this side. So we're going to open this left panel first. Over here, he did write Vindication. He wrote 55-Man Battle Royal. He said those are his favorite videos. Um, he says, Randy Orton, John Cena, Dolph Ziggler. What is good, everybody? We got from Luongo, 3399. And then we have My Damn Halls, 52 or 53. It would be 53. And now, God, guys, this thing is effing massive. We're, we're going to have to change camera angle so that I can open this thing up. All right, guys, I think this is a good enough camera angle. What I'm going to do is give it a little cut -see down the middle, a little split -sees on each side, and then we'll get in there. Let's go ahead. I'll start over here with a little cut -see. If I can effing cut it. Check a carrot cake. So we got that side done. Now we're going to move up here. If I can just get around the stupid camera. Enforceable tape on there. My God, can't even cut it. Finally got that side. And now we're going to give it a little split seat down the middle. To be honest with you guys, I probably need to sharpen the trusty knife. If I sharpen the trusty knife, it'd probably be a lot freaking easier. But anyways, uh, okay. So what we're going to do here is just, he said to open this side first. So we'll just open this. And my God, guys, this is... This is freaking crazy. Oh my god, what did he send, Brad? He sent us so much stuff. I don't even know where to begin with this. This is going to be a long video. This is this is going to be a long video. And we're just going to have to prepare ourselves for it. So I guess now, look at that money shot right there, guys. And that's all the way down in the box. So 
Uh, what we're going to do is, I guess, just take everything out one by one, and I kind of want to change camera angles, that way you guys don't see ahead of time. I'm going to change it down a little bit, and then we'll get going. Alright guys, I fixed it to where when I take something out, all I have to do is show it in front of the camera, and we will be good to go. Make sure my lighting is all good right here, so you guys will be able to see everything that's taken out of this box, guys. A huge shout out again to Giovanni. He said he put a letter in here, actually. Um, yeah, there's a letter right here. I want to read that letter first. Oh, never mind. It's a freaking picture of crime time. What the hell? A picture of crime time? This is sick as shit. Wow, a freaking picture of crime time. I cannot wait to hang that up on the wall. That is epic sauce. Where's the freaking letter that he sent, though? Guys, I can't find the freaking letter, but this comes from Giovanni, and I want to give a huge shout-out to Giovanni. Maybe there's something in there that we'll find later on, but let's go ahead and get in here. The first thing we got is this armless Samoa Joe. I believe this is the Samoa Joe that came in the battle pack with Finn Balor. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that is what this figure is. So we have a Samoa Joe. We got a headless basic Sami Zayn. I can literally use anything, guys. Anything he sends us, we will use here on the channel. Whether it's crowd members or parts or whatever, we can use it. Uh, see? See, this is what I was talking about. Here's the Finn Balor that's headless, armless, and bootless. This is the battle pack. I think these came together. Could be wrong, but you know I'm a genius. I, I think I know. Uh, going up next, we do have a L Eddie Guerrero. I almost said Letty. Letty Guerrero, basic, armless, bootless, and headless. We got a Triple H in here. It is headless, but again, crowd members. You know how many freaking Triple H basics I have, guys? It's kind of insane. Um, in the crowd, there's more Triple H's than anything, I promise. Next up, we have a Neville. And it is headless, armless, and bootless again. We got an Elite Sting, and this is awesome. This is actually really cool because uh, this is the Defining Moment Sting, and it is headless. It doesn't have the neck peg, but this is great for parts. I can use this lower for a Tamatanga. I can use these boots for all kinds of different guys. Thank you so much for that. We got a blue cape. I think this comes in those WWE Create a Superstar things. We got a baggie full of freaking championships. My God. Oh, hold up. Let's let's open this up real quick. We got a bunch of Jax championships. We got the WWE Championship. We got all kind. Of, I think we have some Mattel in here though. We have a Mattel WWE Championship. We have. I think I saw a Cruiserweight Championship. Was that a Cruiserweight Championship in here? Let me dump this out real quick. Yeah, yeah. We got a freaking Cruiserweight Championship, brand spanking new. So we got a beautiful looking Cruiserweight Championship. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, this one's really cool. I want to show you guys this one. We got the European Championship from Jax. I think that looks better than Mattel's. It's got more details in there. That looks great. So thank you so much, Giovanni, for those title belts. Um, one more belt. We'll show one more belt because I, I like this one better than Mattel's. It is the Big Gold Heavyweight Championship, and it looks so good. It's so flat, you know? If it had better straps, I think if we replaced uh, the strap on this, it would really work with Mattel very good. So we got those. What else we got in here? We got a... Looks like, is this a Virgil, uh, like a Jax Virgil suit top? So we got that. We got, oh my god, how cool is this? It's like a Rey Mysterio stand. Oh my god, that's so sick. It says 619, you got his logos. Uh, Ray right there. That is really awesome, bro. If you if you took this and you could like pose this with a Mattel figure, bro, that would be that would be nice. So we got a Rey Mysterio stand. We have, is this Stacy Keebler? I think this is Stacy Keebler. I, I really don't know. It, it could be Tori Wilson. I I honestly don't know. But look how like pink her legs are compared to her torso and stuff. Always happy to put some more women's figures in the crowd. Thank you so much. Next up, we have a Sid Vicious in the blue attire. Never got this figure, but it has one arm missing. And that blue attire looks great. Good knee pads on there. We got a armless Luke Harper with a great angry, scary-looking head scan right there. That needs to go in the Wyatt Colt immediately. We got a stainless steel silver folding chair. Looking great. We have a Money in the Bank playset ladder. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. We actually got one of these in our uh, unboxing and review of that old Money in the Bank playset. We got us a armless and headless Randy Orton basic. Great knee pads on there. Could switch those with something. We have another women's figure. And, oh my god, this is freaking... I think this is Candice Michelle. Isn't that her name? Look at that head scan. It's actually decent. Um, you can definitely tell they used a bigger bust there for uh, the women's figures back in Jack's days. And she's got her nice little cloth robe on there. We have another steel chair. And these were always awesome, guys. You got, like, the Chris Benoit-looking face in there. And it's like, you know, you hit him in the face... And it pushes through, so like you'd push the figure right there, and it's like their head. 
Uh, got molded into the chair. That's really awesome. We have like a, I think this is one of those create a superstar like shield uh, little things. You know what I'm talking about? You like guard your figures or whatever. Like if you were going to war or police, they use those to shield off protesters. We got a turnbuckle in here. I really don't know what ring this is from, but we do have a turnbuckle. It's silver right there. We got a, another one of these Drew Galloway entrance coats that's very interesting because I have my other one right here and they are the exact same. Would you look at that, Brad? Now we have two of them. That's freaking sick. Next up, we have a headless Samoa Joe. So headless Samoa Joe can go hand in hand with armless Samoa Joe. So we have that basic. We got a basic Sheamus. I believe this came in the battle pack with Cesaro. I think this is his most recent battle pack, his headless. Uh, good knee pads on there, though. Holy Christ, what did this man send us? We got a piece of, like, a concrete block or something like that. It doesn't break, but it does have, like, little peg holes in it. Uh, probably came with a Jax figure or something like that. Um, oh, snap, what is this? Okay, this is freaking cool. We got, uh... Okay, so here's the letter. I finally found the letter. Let's go ahead and read the letter. He does have this really cool uh, thing with a bunch of thumbnails on it. That's cool. We got Vindication Episode 2. We got my custom collection. We got the airplane. We got the MDT draft, I think, is right there. We got uh, the 55-man battle royal. We got my, uh, this is my banner on my channel. We have the intro with Dolph Ziggler, and we have the MDT championship that I believe I posted on Instagram. Really sick. Thank you so much, bro, for that. That's really cool that you printed all those images out. Um, here is the, uh, here's the letter. We're going to read it right now. Hey, my damn toys, my name is Giovanni, or you could just call me Gio for short. I'm sorry this didn't come sooner. I emailed you last week, I believe, and was going to send you the haul package right away, but ended up being a little busy. No worries, bro. Thank you so much for this epic freaking unboxing right now. I cannot wait. We have a ton more stuff in here to get through. He says, I hope you enjoy everything. The bo this box consists of wrestling figures such as Mattel and Jax. You can use as fodder, customs, MDT crowd, or just fan mail. Haha. <laughs> there is also accessories and much more. I had an old wrestling figure account on Instagram as GJL Wrestling, but then deleted it, unfortunately. But I just created a new one with the same name, GJL Wrestling. I plan on doing customs and posting figure pictures. I'd like to know if maybe I could do something with you in the future, like maybe like make customs to send you one or a few each month. Big fan for as long as I could remember. And really enjoy your 55-man battle royals. Love your content and can't wait to see what's more to come. Thanks again. No, bro, thank you. Everybody go follow GJL Wrestling. For me, it will mean the world to me for you guys to go follow him. He definitely deserves it. Giovanni, thank you so very much for the letter. Thank you so much for this box of goodies. I will definitely put all of this stuff to use. It's going to be incredible. I cannot wait. And I actually think, oh my God, Brad. Oh my God. I actually was talking about this attire the other day with my boy Cody. And I actually was going to make this in elite form. And I'm totally going to do it now because we have the Jax version it is a Great American Bash 2006 Batista. I love this tights design. I love the Batista logo back in the day. I actually went to a Monday Night Raw where he uh, wore this, uh, not this attire, but I actually brought a sign with that logo on it. So that is so awesome when I was little. I think I was like 10 years old or something. So this is this is amazing, bro. Thank you so much for this Batista, this Jax Batista. We are going to uh, continue diving in here. And we got a Hulk Hogan. We got freaking Hulkster in the freaking house. Look at that head scan, Brad. A lot of people actually use uh, Jax Hulk Hogan head scans for their uh, Mattel custom. So we got an old Jax Classics Hulk Hogan. We got a Shinsuke Nakamura body piece with headless and armless. We got a Chris Jericho light-up jacket right there with the Lost Legends series. And uh, I can't remember the other series. Oh, Snapsies McGapsies. We got some freaking pants, some cargo pants for some Hardy Boys. Don't know if I'll ever um, use these on Mattel, but I think it would be cool to see. I wanna, I'm want i interested in seeing how it would look if I popped them on there. I may do that, so these pants look great. Moving on, we do have another Elite, and it is a Farouk. He does have a broken foot, but that is no big deal at all to me. So we got the Elite 38 Farouk, great for fodder and such. We have a basic Miz with that uh, that Vindication style head scan on there. Good arms. These arms are actually perfect for Seth Rollins as well. We got the gold and black attire, gold kick pads on there. Really nice Miz basic. Next up, we have what is this? We have what is this? Predators. Oh my God! What is the Mini Mates Hanzo and Predator Hound? I don't know what this is, but I appreciate it and I like it. And, oh, is this from the movie, The Predator? I'm a huge Predator fan, but I don't know what this is. 
That's really cool though. Thank you so much for that. Going straight into the fan mail. We got us a WrestleMania 34 magazine. Freaking beautiful. Can't wait to look through that. Next up we got, oh my god, what is, what is this? We have a Guardians of the Galaxy vinyl collectible taser face. My god, I've never owned one of these dorbs before. But we have Taser Face, that's so cool. We got a Guardi I love Guardians of the Galaxy. So we have Taser Face right there. We have another one in here, and oh my god, we got Mantis. We got Mantis this time around. Freaking beautiful. So we got a Dorbs Mantis vinyl collectible. Awesome. I've never collected those, but maybe now's a good time to start. We got another one in here, guys. Oh my god, that's so cool. We got the Dorbs Jack. Torrance from The Shining. If you guys don't know what The Shining is, great, one of the greatest horror movies of all time. We got Jack in here. That is freaking awesome sauce. Thank you so much, bro. I did not expect anything besides wrestling in here, but this is so cool. Uh, we got some black steel steps in here. Getting back to the wrestling themes. Oh my, oh my god. My, me and my brother literally... Okay, this is crazy, guys. This is, this is freaking crazy. This goes together right here. And you know what? I almost bought this like yesterday. I'm not even lying. I talked to my brother. We almost bought this playset right here. And uh, this is the Wrestling Superstore Breakaway Glass Window. And I was going to pay the money to buy this. And then this man, Giovanni, just sends me this. Tell me that ain't the most insane thing you've ever heard. I almost ordered this yesterday night. Last night, I almost hit place your order and I decided not to. And now it's here in this freaking box. What are the odds of that? What are the freaking odds of that? That is freaking amazing, guys. Thank you so much, Giovanni, for that. That that playset right there is amazing. We got some cards in here. All kinds of different cards. Oh, we got another Dorbs. No freaking way. We got Ego this time. And we have another Guardians of the Galaxy Dorbs uh, vinyl collectible figure. Love that. All these are mint in box, too. That is so cool. So we have that. Um, what else in here? We have a, oh my god, we have a freaking Jimmy Hart in his freaking beautiful red blazer and tie with the piano keys on there. Jimmy Hart looking nice right here in his uh, Jax figure. Jax figures were amazing, guys. Even though, you know, they're not the best now when you look back at it. But uh, they, they, they always had some cool stuff. We got a, a steel chair again with that face plated in the center there. We have another black ladder from Jax. We got another black ladder from Jax. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Uh, we have another chair. Hopefully the brace is in there somewhere. So we got a black chair. We got an Edge or Undertaker entrance coat from Mattel. We have, oh snap, RIP. RIP to Jim the Anvil Nightheart. That's a great head scan, guys. Look at that for freaking Jax. So we got a Jim the Anvil Nightheart. I don't even have his Elite, so this is awesome. I got the Jax figure of him now. We got a white bandana. Reaching in here. We, oh, snap. We got a freaking duffel bag. We got a great duffel bag that's in scale with Mattel figures. That'll go great in the backstage area. We got, oh, snap. We got a freaking Deluxe Aggression CM Punk, guys. Look at this. This is freaking beautiful. I love this figure. I loved these figures, guys. They these, these had so much articulation. Obviously, they're massive, but they were still great for the time. Like, look at that. It's, it's just great articulation. You can literally pose them all over the place. Beautiful CM Punk Jax figure. Let's see if I can lean this down a little bit. What else we got in here? We got a stone. I don't want to knock over the crowd. We got a stone cold, and it is a Jax figure. That's a pretty good head scan on there. I don't remember that t-shirt, but uh, nice looking Jack Stone Cold. We have a, oh, it's a good Neville head scan. It's not the Elite 55, but it is the basic 74 Neville, I think. Beautiful looking head scan. We got a Jax Taz figure. Look at that head scan. That's a good head scan for Taz. So we have a Taz Jax figure. I believe that is, I don't know what series, but it is a Taz figure looking great. Next up, we do have a 10 miles per hour speed limit sign with bullet holes and it's all beat up. Maybe that'll find its way in an MDT match someday. We got some DVDs right here. Oh my God, it's freaking not even open, but it's got Dolph Ziggler on the front. It is a Money in the Bank ladder match anthology DVD. How sick is that? Cannot wait to watch this. I'll give that a little watchy. We got RVD on the back. Disc made in Mexico. Make sure everybody knows that. This man literally sent us everything. Like, he, he sent us everything. Oh, snap. We got some freaking cards in here. Can't wait to dive into these. I love when you guys send me cards in the fan mails. I love looking at them. They're really cool. I need to start collecting them, to be honest with you. 
But uh, we got an NXT. We got Angelo Dawkins right there looking great. We got a Trash Corbin. Baron Corbin defeats Kalisto in a ch ch chairs match. That match was actually really solid. Shout out to Trash Corbin for that good chairs match. We got a WrestleMania Sasha Banks looking flames. We got a bar card from Raw. Uh, let me get a little... Alright, so we got... Uh, Team Raw defeats Team SmackDown on a 10 on 10 Survivor Series match, so that is uh, the bar right there. We got Enzo and Cass. Big Cass turns on Enzo on Monday Night Raw. We got KO destroying Chris Jericho. That's the Festival of Friendship. Very sick. We got an Elias card. Elias drifts into Raw. We got an Andrade C and Almas NXT card. We have, oh my god, Lance Cade. I would love to see Mattel Lance Cade figure. Uh, Trevor Murdoch, Lance Cade, maybe get some uh, other guys in there from those tag teams in the Ruthless Aggression era. We got a, oh my god, look at that, Paul Bearer. And that is so awesome. Thank you so much for those cards. We'll stick these over here. Oh, snap, our Guardians of the Galaxy vinyls almost tipped over. Um, okay, so we got a comic, and oh my god, we got a freaking Avengers comic. Alrighty then, one of five? Is this rare? Is this Re Avengers 1959? One of five? Is this is this a rare comic? I don't know. I have to look into that. But thank you so much for the Avengers comics. Uh, my brother actually has a massive collection of comics, so maybe we can uh, put that together. Oh my God! He sent me a mock Jax figure. Oh snap! What is it? Oh, it's Matt Hardy, guys. Look at this Matt Hardy. I miss this old packaging, guys. This is freaking nostalgic as crap. Look at that. Ruthless Aggression Series 29. You got Matt Hardy. He's got one half of the World Tag Titles. We got God, I miss these packaging so much. On the back here, look at these figures. We got Edge, Shawn Michaels, Candice, Michelle, Batista, Melina, Mr. Kennedy, and Matt Hardy. What a great set. Then we got the ECW guys down here. What a freaking sick AF package, guys. What a, a mock Matt Hardy Jacks figure to go over here. Oh my god, we got another one. What do we have? Oh my god, we have a CM Punk WrestleMania 23 CM Punk Jax figure with a tray. That's so sick. Thank you so much, Geo. This is awesome. I love getting like mock old figures. This is so cool. We got Balls Mahoney, Elijah Berg, Joey Styles, Kelly Kelly, Mike Knox, and Bobby Lashley. And then right here you have the rest. MVP, we got Elijah Burke. CM Punk, Mr. Kennedy, Matt Hardy, and Jeff Hardy. What a beautiful looking figure mock right there. CM Punk. Another great little uh, nostalgia pop right there from me. And then I'm probably going to have to stand up here. And oh my god, it, there's there's so much stuff, guys. It's it's pretty freaking insane. Um, we're going to lean forward here. Oh, snap. We got an elite Daniel Bryan right here. Looking great in the Team Hell No attire. Got the freaking knee pads going there. No, 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 all down the kick pads. Never owned this Daniel Bryan before. We're going to clean him up. Looking good. Got the no on the butt there. Very nice elite Daniel Bryan going down in here. What else we got? We have a basic Bobby Roode in the house. Glorious. Got some nice knee pads. Good arms on this Bobby Roode. I'm actually going to pop this head off and put it on my, uh, what is it, the entrance grates. Don't like that entrance grates head. I like that head a lot better, so I'll be doing that. We got some more stuff. Oh, my God. We got the classic ring bell from Jax. Got even a little hammer and you ding, ding, ding. You know how we do back in the day. So we got that nice Jax ring bell. We got a Jax rubber trash can. This is stretchy, you know, so you can fill it up with weapons and it can dent and stuff like that. Good Lord. We got more cards here. What do we got? Guardians of the Galaxy. We got uh, Iron Man 3. So we have some marble cards in here, and they're even sleeved. They have sleeves on them. Next up, we have more cards here. We have even more cards here. We got uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America, Iron Man 3, Captain America, Doctor Strange. Oh, snap. Even more Guardians of the Galaxy. We got Iron Man 3 and Doctor Strange. So, so many cool marble cards in here as well. Try not to get them damaged here as I reach in. We got a Jax Rhino figure in the house, guys. Looking great. Look how freaking... Look at that neck from Rhino from this Jax figure. My God. Going back in here. Oh, snapsies, my gapsies. We got an Elite 36 Bo Dallas right here. Great for fodder. Beautiful looking piece. White elbow, uh, white knee pads. White boots on there. So the Bo Dallas Elite always coming through with parts. We got a... Oh, my God. God, we got a Shawn Michaels in his white full suit. I honestly, I don't know, what, when did he wear this? I honestly do not remember when he wore this. I thought it was his WrestleMania 25 attire, but this is, uh, 
This is in a this is in a button down and white slacks and white gloves and everything. I don't. I, I'm gonna need somebody down in the comment section below to tell me what this is from. But that's a beautiful looking Shawn Michaels figure. Going down, we have a Eddie Guerrero head and a Hornswoggle figure from Jax. We have an elite Rowdy Roddy Piper looking great. I do not have a Roddy. Uh, I do not have a Roddy Piper, so that is freaking beautiful. Great knee pads on there. Uh, very good articulation, good tight joints. So we have an elite Roddy Piper. We got a freaking elite Dash Wilder. How freaking sick is that? Tight joints on here. So this is the freaking Target exclusive, guys. This is this is a nice figure. NXT Target exclusive Dash Wilder. Next up, guys, we do have a basic Chris Jericho. I actually own this basic, so it's looking good. But I think I used it to make a custom or something. So now I have it back in my collection. Very nice. We have a basic cane, great head scan, great elbow pads on there. Got the large knee pad or large knee pads, the large elbow pads. So we got a great cane figure. We got a hair piece, and it, I think this is a Triple H Jax hair piece. Kind of folds over there, pretty crazy looking. Looks like a WWE create a superstar or something. We got a basic Hideo Itami, and you'll you won't believe this, Brad, but we do not. I don't have any Hideo Itami figures, so this is my first, my first Hideo Itami figure. Great looking knee pads, Hideo Itami, great head scan, and uh, the first one in the collection. So great job there. Thank you, Gio, for that. We have a basic Dean Ambrose. I think uh, Dean Ambrose is probably the most collected, guys. I have so many Dean Ambroses in my crowd from all his basic figures. So we have a basic Dean Ambrose. We got another card in here. It's from Thor. Going back in here, trying to grab some stuff here. Oh my god, what do we have? Oh my god, what is this? We have a basic John Morrison looking beautiful. Love John Morrison to death in the white attire, looking fresh. And then we have a freaking Elite One CM Punk. My god, half of the decals rubbed off there, but who cares? This is an Elite One CM Punk. Oh my Jesus. I've never owned this figure before, so I now own the Elite One CM Punk. My God, Geo! Thank you so very much for this Elite One CM Punk. That is absolutely beautiful. And then we have the NXT Target Exclusive Ty Dillinger Basic. Got the blue knee pads on there, looking great. Never owned this basic before, so that is a first. What other beautiful stuff do we got in here? We got a basic X-Pac, the Walmart exclusive X-Pac, I think, or the TNF, I think. I can't remember what series. All right, guys, reaching back in here, we have the Elite 53 Miz figure. And what head scan is this? That's a great head scan. I've never seen that Miz head scan before. So we have the Elite 53 Miz with a head swap. And it's crazy because I think uh, I always wanted to buy the Elite 53 and I never bought it. And now... This man just, it's like he knew the holes that were in my collection and he freaking filled them. How freaking beautiful. Thank you so much again. Great looking Miz Elite. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get down in here in this box, but it's like kind of tough here. So we have like a wooden club and there's the bracket for that chair. We have a Eric Rowan head scan and a basic edge figure from that battle pack with Christian. We have a piece of clothing. Do not know what this goes on. Is this a... I, I cannot tell what this is. I, I don't know what that is. Alright guys, up next we have a Triple H SummerSlam from uh, in his purple tights. Looking great. This is one of the first uh, Mattel Basics I ever bought, believe it or not, which is kind of crazy. Alright guys, we switched it up a little bit. Now we can get in here better. We have a Rick Rude Flashback Series Basic. Looking great. We got the Elite 26, I believe, Ultimate Warrior. This is one of the Ultimate Warriors I've never owned before, and this figure is actually very, very common. So thank you so much for filling. Again, it's like he literally knew what I didn't have, and he sent it in this box. This is incredible. So we have another Elite, and it is Ultimate Warrior. Okay, we have an Adrenaline Series Battle Pack, guys. What is going to be in here? Is it going to be DX? Is it going to be Paul London and Brian Kendrick? Or is it going to be Undertaker and Kane? Let's see. Oh my god, it's freaking Paul London and Brian Kendrick. I loved them as a tag team, guys, right here with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships right there. Looking absolutely amazing. I miss these guys. I wish we could get elites of them. Um, what great figures these are. So, again, Adrenaline Series, these, these freaking packaging is so nostalgic. So we have three Mock Jacks figures now, and that is so awesome. That is freaking incredible. We got more cards down here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. 
We got uh, Captain America, Captain America, and Iron Man 2. And then we got a random bunch of accessories down here. We got another pair of the Hardy Boy pants. We got uh, John Cena's hat right here from uh, his Royal Rumble 2008 return attire. That is a Jax hat, by the way. We got a steel tray and a trash can lid. We have a dull version of the European Championship. We have an Ultimate Warrior basic figure. We got some more cards in here. We got uh, the Avengers and uh, Civil uh, Avengers Civil War. Another uh, steel tray, a lead pipe, a Dean Ambrose T-shirt, a Dean Ambrose head scan, another John Cena hat from Jax, and then we just have a bunch of fodder down here, guys. Just a ton of fodder. Slammy Award, Neville Arms. We got a big sledgehammer down here. We got a Samoa Joe head scan. We got some Elite 42 Neville kick pads. We got some basic Eddie Guerrero boots. And I believe that is about it for this massive, incredible, just freaking amazing box that we got here from Giovanni. Guys, what in the freak? Did Giovanni just freaking send us? My God, at the hall here today. Um, I'm completely speechless that anyone would want to send me all of these things. Uh, I appreciate it so very much from the bottom of my heart. This is absolutely incredible. What an amazing episode of My Damn Halls, episode number 53. I thought episode 50 was huge, but my God, did this man deliver here with this epic fan mail unboxing. Again, huge shout out to Giovanni, guys. Go follow his Instagram, GJL Wrestling. As you see it there on the screen, definitely go give him a follow. This means so very much to me and everybody over here at My Damn Toys. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen and I just appreciate it so very much. We're going to get use out of every single thing that you see here today and um, the fan mail uh, collection that I had piling up is absolutely massive now. Um, I cannot wait to uh, stick this in there and see what it all looks like. I'm going to hang up that crime time picture and everything guys. Uh, but that does it for this epic episode of My Damn Halls. Again, thank you so much to Giovanni and BEW for sending these things in here today. I cannot wait to uh, uh, just use all this stuff. I can't wait to get a use out of it. It's going to be incredible and fun and everything here on the channel. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.